These people kind of like saved my life and a lot of other people from having this program. It's wonderful. A tiny home has made a big difference for Keith Marcianti and his companion Sadie. Let's take a shortcut. It's part of Sacramento County's first safe state community. This is it. Helping the unhoused. If I wouldn't be here, I'd be in a tent, probably. Um, be in a tent, probably somewhere by the river, freezing. This community of tiny homes on Power Inn and Florin Road opened nearly five months ago. I'm in charge of running this shelter. David so Silvera says it can house up to 125 people. We're currently at 119 right now. Meeting their immediate needs for food and shelter so they can focus on the future and get help to get more permanent housing. We have housed uh, about uh, 10 clients wait, right wait. now. Oh. Marcianti found himself here by way of New Orleans after the sudden and unexpected death of his wife in 2016. I don't know, like, my head was so screwed up. He says he eventually started talking to someone. This girl was promising me the world online from over here. <laughs> and uh, I, bit, I bit it hook, line, sink up. I, I got a uh, plane ticket, I flew over here, and she come pick me up from the airport, but it wasn't the same person as the pictures I was getting and everything, like, what she was saying, none of it was true. He says he was homeless his first day here, but now he's hopeful. Say cheese. Hopeful that could change. This makes it a lot easier because, like, there's resources, and, like, if it wouldn't be for these people, I wouldn't know what position I'd be in right now. He's focused on finding a house fine-tuning his skills as a musician. I love music. It soothes my soul. Comforted by the sense of community here. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful thing. So people here can get help obtaining the documents they need to get into more permanent housing. They can get connected with a primary care doctor and get treatment for mental health or drug and alcohol abuse if they need that. Reporting live here in near the Sac South Sacramento area, Lizay Mitri, KCRA 3 News. And you can see that impact already, Lizay. So is there a limit to how long people can stay there? People in charge here tell us they basically check in with their clients every 30 days. And so as long as that client is moving forward, making progress in their housing plan, then they can stay here. Lizay, good to know. Thank you so much for that report.